Hello everyone, welcome to my channel Crochet Rainbows and Butterflies. From today I'm starting my Christmas special videos. For 4 weeks from now I will be posting videos every week related to Christmas topic. So there will be Christmas ornaments, Christmas decorations and many other things. So if you haven't yet, please subscribe to my channel to not miss any video on Christmas special. So today we are starting with the mini stocking. Very pretty ornament for a Christmas tree or a gift tag or you can even gift this to someone. For this I am using crochet yarn, crochet needle 2.5 millimeters, and a pair of scissors as well as a small embroidery thread to use this as a hanging ornament. So let's get started. We begin with chain 10, first with a slip stitch and then we chain 10, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Now you hold on to your last stitch here which is very close to your hook hold on to that one and you chain two one two now we need to work half double crochet in the same stitch that you're holding on to so our chain two will be our first half double crochet and we are working one half double crochet in the same stitch that you're holding on to so for that you yarn over once you insert the hook into the stitch that you held on to. You yarn over, pull through your stitch. You have three loops on your hook. You yarn over, pull through all three. Now that's your half double crochet. So we have two here in one stitch. That is your first chain two and your one half double crochet. Now after this you need to work half double crochets in all stitches. So we start with the one next to the stitch. You work one half double crochet here. Your second one. Your third one. So you're working one half double crochet till you get to the end of your row. One half double crochet in each stitch. Right up till here. Now in the last stitch you need to work three half double crochets. So you start with one, this is your first one, this is the second one and the third one. So three half double crochets in the last stitch. Now after you've done that, you need to work in the opposite side of your row. So we finished working on this side of the chain that we started. Now we are going to work in the opposite side. So you need to finish your three half double crochets, yarn over and into the very next stitch next to this one, you need to go ahead and work one half double crochet. Now you work one half double crochet in each stitch of this row. Till you get to the end. That's one half double crochet in each stitch. Now 
right up till here and now in the last one where we have one chain and one half double crochet we need to work one half double crochet into the same stitch so now we have three so we have one half double crochet one chain and one half double crochet exactly like how we have in the opposite side we have three half double crochets we need to have three here so we started with two and we ended with one into the same stitch now you need to go ahead and work a slip stitch into the first chain two and complete your row we start our next row with chain two and we work one half double crochet in the same stitch that we are starting with so one half double crochet right into the stitch now in the next stitch we work two half double crochets that's one and two now you need to work one half double crochet in each stitch of this row one two three four five six seven so you need to work one half double crochet right up till you reach to the last three that we made in our previous row so in these three stitches in each stitch we will work two half double crochets in each stitch so you start with the first one one and two half double crochets in one stitch in the next one two half double crochets one and two and in the next one two half double crochets one and two now you need to work one half double crochet in each stitch right up till here okay so we finished working half double crochets right up till here we have one stitch remaining in the last stitch you need to work two half double crochets so we have something exactly like the opposite side we have three stitches here with two half double crochets so we started with two half double crochets then we made two half double crochets in the next stitch and now we are ending with two half double crochets so after this you need to work a slip stitch in your first chain two you chain one and you work one single crochet in the same stitch one single crochet in the next stitch and for this row you need to continue working one single crochet for the entire row so your entire row you need to complete with one single crochet i've completed my row and i have 26 single crochets and now we need to work a slip stitch in the first single crochet that we started with so this is what it will look like now you chain one and work one single crochet in the same stitch and now counting this stitch you need to have eight single crochet so this is the first one two three four five six seven and eight so we made eight single crochets and now we are going to start working our decrease so for that we need to work two single crochets together we start with this one to work two single crochets together you need to work your first single crochet so you insert your needle 
pull out your first yarn from the first stitch insert your needle into the next stitch pull out your yarn again now you have three loops on your hook you yarn over pull through all three so this is your first decrease and that is working two single crochets together now in the next one you work one single crochet now in the next one you work a decrease again so you insert your needle your hook you pull out your yarn from the first stitch insert your hook pull out your yarn from the next stitch yarn over you have three loops you have three loops on your hook you yarn over pull through all three so this is your second one now in the next one you work one single crochet now in the next two stitches we work a decrease again so we start with the first one insert your hook pull out your yarn in the next stitch insert your hook pull out your yarn you have three loops yarn over pull through all three now this is what this was a third decrease of our row in the next one you work one single crochet now we work one more decrease so you insert your hook pull out your yarn insert your hook in the next stitch pull out your yarn yarn over pull through all your loops on your needle so now we have our decrease now for the rest of the row we work one single crochet in each stitch for the rest of your row I completed my row and I joined my row with a slip stitch to the first single crochet that we started with now you go ahead and chain one in the same stitch you work one single crochet and we need to work eight single crochets counting the first one that we just made so this is one two three four five six seven eight we finished eight single crochets now again we need to start with decrease so in the first in the next two single crochets we work our decrease that is two single crochets together in the next stitch one single crochet in the next two stitches two single crochets together for our next two stitches in the next one one single crochet next one two single crochets together and the next one one single crochet so we started with one decrease after our eight single crochets two single crochets together one single crochet two single crochets together one single crochet two single crochets together now for the rest of the row you work one single crochet in each stitch I have completed my row and I have gone ahead and joined it with a slip stitch now you chain one in the same stitch you work one single crochet and like we've done earlier we need to start with eight single crochets counting the first one so this is one two three four five 
six, seven, eight. In the next two stitches, we work our decrease. So that is two single crochets together in the next two stitches. So this is the first. This is the second one. You work them together. Now in the next two, we work a decrease as well. There is no single crochet in between our two decrease in this row. So we work our first decrease. That is two single crochets together. The next two stitches will be together. That is two single crochets together in the next stitch. Next two stitches. And the next two stitches as well. So two single crochets together in the next two stitches. So here we worked three decrease one after the other without having single crochets in between. So two we have a chain. I'm sorry, we have our eight single crochets, two single crochets together, two single crochets together and two single crochets together. Now for the rest of the row, we work one single crochet in each stitch. I have completed my row and again I have joined it with a slip stitch. You chain one and work one single crochet in the same stitch and like we've done earlier we need to work eight single crochets so this is the first one two three four five six seven and eight now in this row we need to work two decrease so we start with these two you need to work two single crochets together so this is one this is two this is our first decrease and in the next two stitches as well we are working our decrease so two single crochets together in the next two stitches that is this one and this one so first one, second one and your decrease. Now for the rest of the row you work one single crochet in each stitch. It's one single crochet in each stitch till you reach the end of your row and now you work your slip stitch. You chain one, you work one single crochet in the same stitch and for this row we work one single crochet for the entire row. So one single crochet in each stitch for the entire row. I finished my row of single crochet and I've done a slip stitch. You chain one single crochet in the same stitch and again you need to work one single crochet for the rest of your row and you need to work five rows of single crochet. We finished the first one, the first row and you need to work five more rows. You need to have a total of six single crochet rows. I've completed my row and after we work the slip stitch we need to chain one and you can cut your yarn. We are joining our next color now. We join the next color with a slip knot. You can join it anywhere in your row. I'm going to go ahead and join it right here. Okay, now you work one single crochet in the same stitch that you joined it. So we have a one single crochet, one single crochet in the next stitch, 
one single crochet in the next stitch this is our third one one single crochet in the next stitch so we have four single crochets now in the next stitch we work two single crochets so that is one and in the same stitch you work your second one so we have four single crochets in each stitch and in the fifth stitch we have two single crochets now we continue with one single crochet in the next stitch so one one single crochet in the next stitch one single crochet in the next stitch and one single crochet in the next stitch now in your next one you work two single crochets that's one and two now again in the next stitch you work one single crochet in the next stitch one single crochet in the next stitch one single crochet and in your last stitch you work two single crochets one and two now you join your row with a slip stitch you chain one you work one single crochet in the same stitch and then you need to continue working one single crochet in all the stitches for the rest of your row and you will be working eight rows in total so we finished our first one this is our first row this is our second row so you need eight rows of white in total so you need to go ahead and work eight single crochet rows of white I've completed my eight single crochet rows and I've gone ahead and cut off my yarn now all you need to do is you need to fold this in this manner and there you have your mini Christmas stocking if you want you can attach this thread right on here if you're making a tree ornament like this you can tie a knot and you have your ornament so that's all for now I hope you enjoyed this video don't forget to subscribe to my channel please feel free to comment below thank you for watching happy crocheting